Good morning. You're listening to FloorDaily.net, and I'm Kim Parr. This morning, my guest is Brian Carson and Tom Lape. Brian Carson's president of Mohawk, and Tom Lape is head of sales and marketing. Guys, how you doing? Good morning, Kim. We're doing terrific. Doing great, Kim. All right, good to be with you. You've got some big news. You're talking about a major investment here in the polyester side of the carpet business. You're investing, looks like about $180 million dollars in this continuum process polyester. I wanted to get into some of the details on that. First, I guess a big question is what motivated this investment of $180 million on this type of carpet? Well, Kemp, I, I think if you look at the investments that are being made in the industry today, everybody's trying to expand the portfolio on innovation, and just as we did on Smart Strand and the commitments we made over the years there. This is essentially our major investment commitment to the polyester category. It essentially is an investment that uh, leverages our expertise in the recycled content, which we've had through our years of, of expertise, as you know, on the image side of the business, where we made polyester staple through recycled content. And polyester has certainly been a growth area of the market for the industry. At Mohawk, what we like to do is not only make investments to expand our uh, capacities, but we also want to make sure that those investments are tied to some form of uh, differentiated innovation. And that's what leads us to what we're talking about here, the continuum process. So this is much more than just what you read in the papers of a lot of capacity expansions. This is essentially a capacity and technology expansion which is why we're so excited about this story that we can now finally uh, bring it to some of the the retailers and and really bring something that works together for the consumers. So it's a major commitment, and at the same time, it's an exciting new process for us with Continuum. You brought up something there about the growth of the polyester market, and that's the question I'd like to ask you. If you can tell us, in the last four or five years, bulk continuous filament polyester in the residential business, it it might very well be half the business now. Uh, Kemp, it's Brian. I think the growth in, uh, in polyester filament, one, grew as polyester staple declined, but also, you know, the economic conditions of the last five, six years, you know, there's been a higher emphasis on value and price in the market and perhaps a little bit more short term versus long term. And while all carpets are not created equal, You know, polyester carpet offers good stain resistance. Nylon carpet offers good resiliency. Triexta carpet has the best of both worlds, our smart strand with good resiliency and permanent stain and soil resistance. It's no question that polyester carpet price-wise creates a good value, and that good value has created demand. But having said that polyester is a good value from a price standpoint doesn't mean that that category can't be innovated. So we've been putting our energy around how to create innovation and differentiation in that growing fiber category. You know, I've read this release you've sent out, and it sounds like that a big part of the story is around this coming from recycled post-consumer bottles. A little history on that. You know, Mohawk has been known for a long time. I think you were the first companies to really take a, a, st- a leap forward. You know, that was a big part of your message. And now you're doing this investment. So talk about how this thing has evolved. You know, Mohawk has been recycling polyester bottles into into staple for more than 20 years. So we've had an enormous amount of history and experience in that area. Now, having said that, doing that into polyester filament carpets is a much greater technical challenge to do it in high quantities and at high efficiencies. And I think what we've been able to do is build upon that experience over the years and combine that with fresh innovation and fresh investments that has allowed us to adapt our recycling processes to polyester filament and not only make a highly recycled product at high efficiencies, but actually wind up with a better polyester filament. You may or may not be aware of this, but when you recycle polyester bottle resin, that resin itself is actually a higher quality resin because of the nature of turning it into the, into bottles. It has superior impact resistance and superior strength. So you can not only wind up with a recycled polyester filament fiber, but you could also wind up with a stronger fiber. Well, another part of your release is talking about this being a much cleaner process and it performs better. Tell us a little bit more about that, if you would. Sure, Kim. Where, where we are with the cleaner processes, 
we marketed this under a, a fairly simple message back out to the, the folks in the uh, uh, retail side and consumers. And we use the term starts clean, stays clean. And that's the promise of Continuum. And in essence, what that is, is that, first of all, as you heard Brian talk about, we believe it is a cleaner process because we use basically a better inbound raw material, the recycled content that's used in the bottle grade products today. Number two is we feel that our process of, uh, of conversion in the uh, use of recycled content from materials is superior. It's a fantastic purification process. The back end is important, though, in the carpet manufacturing process. These products, everything that is marketed under the continuum label, will always be a scoured product. So these spin finish oils, which uh, it's no secret in the industry today that as we all look at, sometimes you get that sticky tacky, which is associated many times with some of the solution dyed polyesters in the market today. That sticky tacky uh, finish is the, is the spin finish oil. We scour every yard that we sell in the continuum process. And then we actually remove, in many cases, up to and exceeding 95% of all the spin finish oil through which is what is a different scouring process that we've developed here at Mohawk. On top of that, everything in Continuum gets not only some form of a fluorocarbon, but gets Scotchgard Advanced Repel technology. So what this is, is that we've really marketed this under starts clean, stays clean, because we've got a better, we believe, a superior raw material going in, at the same time a better manufacturing process. And we think that all of that knitted together in continuum leads to our simple message, which is essentially cleaner process, a cleaner product, which then leads to a cleaner planet. Because at the end of the process is if you look at this from the, from the carpet backwards, mm -hmm. we're essentially producing a carpet today with raw material that while many times competitors are using virgin product that they have to dig out of the ground to get, we're actually using raw material that we're preventing from going back into the ground. So we think that that once again is trying to take an innovative approach to this issue because we said it's a it's approaching it's well over a billion five market and we need more innovation in that market for an industry and we need something we can take out to retailers and consumers of how to essentially position that for an advantage in the marketplace. Actually, you just said a key word, and that was my next question about positioning. You know, when you start looking at Mohawk, the second largest producer of carpet in the world, and you start thinking about you've got silk on the upper end, you've got wear dated. You know, where does this fall when you when you roll this out? Where does it fall in your whole stable of brands? I think you have to look at where polyester fits, and polyester certainly is more in the value side of the marketplace. It is no doubt when you look at wear dated and when you look at smart strand, those are our premium nylon and triexta fibers. As you indicated as well, polyester is a growth segment of the market and you know, well over a billion five market. And we want to differentiate through innovation. And what's generally happened today is polyester competes very heavily in the under $10 wholesale market. Uh, and certainly there's some polyester sold above $10. But in that under $10 wholesale market, what we really looked at there is that all the discussion today is about price and cost. And while certainly cost on the manufacturing side is certainly relevant to all of us, at the end of the day is that if we look at what's been successful in the carpet industry is why don't we talk from the consumer backwards and what are we going to do to differentiate the product? And so that's where we'll be positioning. A lot of the product's going to be in the under 10. Some will be in the over 10 in polyester. But what this allows us to do is really provide what is clearly a good, better, best offering in the polyester category, we want to still have differentiation and abilities for retailers to sell and connect with consumers, as we do on wear day on a nylon platform, as we do in smart strand, and certainly our silk at the premium end of the platform. Because the reality of it is, polyester is not a solution for every consumer. And I think that's a real distinction to make. It's a, it's a, a very good product. It's going to be a growth product. But we do take exception when it's implied that polyester is a solution for all consumers that's really just not the case for many consumers that are in the marketplace today because they want a different level of performance. And we as the marketers and manufacturers of the industry have to make sure we provide that. I'm sure this has been a long time under development. What's the timing on when we'll actually see carpet with this process? You'll see products in the fourth quarter. Okay. Entering the fourth quarter. All right. Okay, great. And you'll see it's at the shows this uh, fall, or this in, in the winter shows here at Kemp. You'll see us talking about the continuum process. And this is our chance to kind of do a little pre-selling with uh, the field. We're having some fun with our teams in the field. It's about energizing your retail partners, about energizing your own sales force. And we made this investment, and now, you know, this large investment is coming to fruition that our, our salespeople in the fourth quarter are actually going to start to touch product. 
that's associated with that major investment that we've done. So we're pretty excited about it. Okay, great. And Kim, just to echo what Tom said, you know, Mohawk is unique. You know, we're a big player in all three major fiber categories, polyester, filament, nylon, and smart strand. And they're all different. Polyester is not nylon, and nylon is not smart strand. Polyester is not going to wear as well as those other categories, and the market knows that. Now, having said that, that doesn't mean that you can't innovate and make the best polyester in the industry and make a superior polyester. And that's what we're about doing, and that's what Continuum was about. Well, this is interesting news. Good luck with it. Again, we've been talking to Brian Carson, who's president of Mohawk, and Tom Lape, who's head of sales and marketing at Mohawk. And you've been listening to Kemp Har and FloorDaily.net.